The other vehicle was texting at the time of the accident. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, a, a common, a common occurrence. But in this particular case, what actually happened, and what was the, uh, what was the, what was the outcome? What were the injuries that were sustained as a result of this texting? Well, they, they were driving on the 10 freeway at the time and uh, going freeway speeds. Uh, some uh, boxes had fallen off a truck in front of my client. Mm -hmm. My client slowed down and was able to stop mm -hmm. to avoid the boxes. The truck behind him, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, did not stop, and that's because the driver was inattentive. He was looking down at his phone, texting at the time right. uh, that my client had stopped, and so he had no opportunity to stop his vehicle or even appreciably slow his vehicle and, and cool. hit my client in the rear end. Okay, and, and as a result of that, obviously, uh, you know, your client was, you know, pretty badly injured, as I can understand. Well, he, he was badly injured. He was a gentleman who um, was about 45 years old, and uh, he had a um, lower back surgery about 10 years before where they put uh, uh, metal hardware in his lower back. Mm -hmm. He recovered from that. Uh, he had a long recovery, but he recovered. He'd been working uh, as a tile man for the last eight years, so he was in fairly good shape. But unfortunately, the accident uh, was so substantial that it actually fractured the hardware that was in his back oh, and he had to have another uh, major surgery and he's still in quite a bit of pain and, and disabled. So this is a six pick of some of pain. At, at least. <laughs> Many of the opposing attorneys you've, you've been doing cases with effectively for many many years so they're fully aware of your capabilities and that sometimes leads to perhaps a a slightly faster settlement than would otherwise be the case. Yeah, I, I found that to be true. Again, I've been doing this over 30 years, and um, there are many attorneys out there, but uh, on some of these bigger cases, you come across the same attorneys over and over again, and uh, they're, they're good attorneys. They know what they're doing. Uh, they know what I, what I can do and what I've been doing, and they, we respect each other. So um, often, uh, even on very difficult cases as to who's at fault, or a question as to how bad the injury is, uh, we can sit down either before we filed the lawsuit or, or, or almost always after we filed the lawsuit. And we're able to achieve fairly good settlements even though the case is difficult because of some aspect in the case. And again, uh, I think that comes from a respect standpoint where I know the attorneys, uh, and they're not doing me a favor, but uh, they, they know that I will prepare for the case. and. and yeah, but there, there, there's nothing that's going to get past you is what they're they're basically aware of because obviously having dealt with you over a number of years they know that that no 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 stone will be left unturned in terms of uh, your representation of a client's interest it's it's a matter of preparation